Hey folks, Ira here. Hope you've had a great Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is March the 1st, 2016. Now, not only that, but today is widely known as National Pig Day and Yellow Pig Day. Oh, and it is also National Peanut Butter Lovers Day. I don't know what's going on with that, but we must be running out of days. Anyways, at the time of writing this, we have racked in over 177 earthquakes for the day. Let's take a look at what's going on. Well, we welcomed in March with the bang. In certain parts of the globe, at least, New Zealand was struck with a 5.7 early this morning. Thankfully, we are not receiving reports of any damage. Papua New Guinea experienced a 4.7 as well. Now, outside of that, the Pacific Plate showed minor movement with few quakes in Indonesia. Heading around the Ring of Fire, we continued to experience numerous earthquakes up in Alaska, as well as a few in California. More on that in a moment, though. Afghanistan experienced a 4.5 today. Nothing out of the ordinary here. We saw a rather interesting quake rattle Pergos, Greece, moments ago, though. Everyone knows that the Mediterranean region is no stranger to earthquakes. But are you familiar with the Great Messina earthquake of 1908? This beast, which was clocked in at a 7.2, is the deadliest documented earthquake in European history. The combination of ground shaking and the tsunami that it generated killed well over 100,000 people. That is wild. Our location of interest comes to us from Burnsville, North Carolina. Burnsville is actually just south of my location, about an hour and a half away. Anyways, this morning around 2.40 a.m., they were rattled by a magnitude 2.5. Interestingly enough, Burnsville was rocked by 2.4 last night around 9.40 p.m. I think it's interesting that we continue to talk about the Craton and how we see movement on the west coast and then on the east coast, and this is a prime example of that happening. Burnsville has a population of 1,700 and an elevation of 2,800 feet. I imagine that they see all four seasons like we do. Anyways, Burns is named after an old naval captain of the War of 1812. His name was Otway Burns. Isn't that a freaking awesome name? There's actually a statue of him that bears this inscription. It states, He guarded well our seas, let our mountains honor him. Now that is flipping great. Taking a look at the map, Mexico saw a 5.0 just outside of Puerto Madero. Savalbard Islands in the Arctic Ocean saw a 4.6 as well. Now that's somewhat unusual because it wasn't until recently that we started experiencing, you know, activity up there. So, hmm, interesting indeed. Taking a look at the states once again, Oklahoma experienced seven earthquakes with the strongest being a 3.1 in Luther. Now Yellowstone also saw a few tremors as well but nothing above an M1. Idaho also saw three quakes today, the strongest being a 2.0. Washington was struck with five. All were minor with the most intense being a 1.5. Oregon was once again suspiciously quiet. No earthquakes to report today in this area at all. Now, that is so incredibly odd, folks. What is going on? If you've been watching our channel, you know that Oregon experiences numerous quakes a day, specifically from the Lakeview area. And so, does this mean that the earthquake quiet, that there's pressure building up in the area? Or does this relate to the massive CO2 eruption we experienced from the West Coast over the past few days? I would love to get your take on this, guys. Post down below, please. Now, if you aren't familiar with what I'm speaking about, you need to take a look at this. A few days ago, a massive plume of CO2 erupted from the West Coast. Take a look at the video. Now, this occurs from time to time. In fact, we actually saw a minor eruption just over Japan the other day. But in this occasion, it was the largest event of its kind ever recorded. Now, if you aren't aware of this, this activity has actually been tied to earthquakes, and it is believed that it could be utilized to forecast seismic activity. With that being said, I'm somewhat concerned for our friends on the West Coast especially in Oregon. We're watching you guys. If you are in this area, make certain you have a plan, have supplies, and all that good stuff. Finally, back to California. The state has also been somewhat quiet today. 
We've only clocked in 77 earthquakes as of 8 p.m. Nothing too crazy with the with a 2.9 leading the roost in San Simeon. Now, what concerns me about this is also the fact that it's just so quiet. If you've been watching our videos, you will know that we normally see well over 100 quakes a day in California. I have a funny feeling about this, folks. What is your gut telling you? And that is it for the quake report, guys. If you experienced earthquakes today, or if you'd like to comment on the earthquake quiet, which we are experiencing on the West Coast, please post below. We'd like to hear about it for sure. Make it certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night. Hoorah!